So a couple days ago I made a video where I demonstrated how I was able to successfully sprout these chia seeds that were sitting right on top of my Wi-Fi router where the antenna was. And after I showed the video, I got a suggestion by one of my viewers that I take bacteria and try the same experiment. So I took out a microscope slide and I put some bacteria I was able to get out of a rain gutter with these old leaves and water here. I put on the microscope slide and I let it sit on top of the uh, Wi-Fi router in that same spot I put the chia seeds and it didn't seem to have any effect on the life I saw under the microscope. Well I was thinking about it and I thought well what would happen if I did the same thing with a microwave oven that's going to put out billions of times more energy than any kind of Wi-Fi router would and especially if I have the uh, bacteria right inside of the microwave. So I went ahead and did so and much to my surprise it did not kill all the bacteria. Now I'm not really sure if it killed any, to be honest, but uh, I'm just going by what I saw on the slide after I was done with the experiment. Now, when I did this, I did not leave the microwave on very long because I don't want to produce heat. Heat will kill the bacteria. I'm not testing the thermal effect. We know that the thermal effect can cook things, and of course it can kill things. But what about the radio waves alone? Do you think they'll affect the bacteria? Well, I'll, sh I'll show you the experiment here. You can see for yourself. So what I did was I took some of this uh, bacteria-infested water and I put it in this little cap right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this inside the microwave right now. And I'm going to... Uh, let me move that over a little bit. Okay. I'm going to turn this on, but only briefly. Now, I, I taped one of my little LED detectors there so I can tell when the microwave's on. And I, I'm, I'm only going to leave this on briefly because this is real high intensity radio waves and like I said I don't want to cook the water so go ahead and turn that on one two that's it that's it that's all I want okay now I'm gonna take this this water here I think it just got a little bit warm not too bad though I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it a little bit of it on the slide so I'm gonna use this wire to transfer some of the water onto my slide let's see if we can get enough on there to see this. There we go. I think I got enough on there. Okay, let's see if I can move that over to where it will be visible. And I'm going to set this. I'm holding this uh, I'm going to be holding this right on the lens here. It's kind of tricky where I'm doing this. Uh, and we're going to be looking for life. So let's see here. I may have to refocus this thing. I can already see stuff moving around in there. You see, even after that, there's still life in in, in that water there. And I, I just find that amazing. So again, I think this proves a point that, you know, the radio waves of themselves may not be as harmful as a lot of people are speculating. Let's see if I can pick a better part of the slide here. I don't want to lose what I've got there because you can see little things moving around inside there. Just hoping to find something a lot bigger. Anyway, hopefully you can see that. Let me see if I can focus that a little bit better. Yeah, see there there is life in there. So, okay, so the point of doing this, m my thinking is this. If if I can bombard these little bacterias with a high-intensity radio wave powerful enough to cook food with, and they're still alive, what's the chances that some weak signal coming out of your Wi-Fi router is going to really affect you? Now look, even with this LED that's basically a, a tuned circuit the way this thing is designed, it's you could pull this thing away and it, you still can't light up this LED here. And uh, I don't know, to me that suggests that we really don't need to be worrying about these radio waves, but that's just my opinion. Decide for yourself. Now the reason I keep doing videos on this subject is this has become a really big issue around here. In fact, just this morning I had a call from a woman that asked me if I could come out to her house and hook up her uh, her, t her smart TV to a hard wire. She didn't want any more Wi-Fi signals in her house. And I, I asked her if she'd be interested in watching my YouTube videos when she wasn't. She just wanted to believe what she believed. And uh, 
Anyway, so she said she had three smart TVs she wanted hooked up uh, directly to a hard wire. And I hear this sort of thing a lot. In fact, I had another customer not that long ago. She asked me if I could hook up a uh, audio, no, a set of speakers to her TV. She wanted an enhanced sound system. And I told her I could, but I'd have to bring an amplifier with me. So I went out there and I plugged in this amplifier, hooked it all up. And the moment I plugged it in, the woman insisted she felt some sort of pressure on her forehead. And that they let me know this wasn't going to work for them. So they went ahead and paid me for my time and uh, that was that. So, I don't know, I thought these experiments might help some of my viewers to feel a bit more relaxed about this whole thing. Um, again, uh, you know, I didn't leave this thing in the microwave very long. But think about the intensity of the microwave uh, radiation here. You know, I mean, that's, uh, that's incredibly powerful. And yet, we can look at this slide here and we can still find living organisms there. So, and again, if, uh, if we hadn't had a frost last night, I think we'd find a lot more life in this water here. Anyway, if you look carefully, you'll see a little buggers. There's there's something up there, a bigger thing. Oh, let's see if I can get that. There we go. Look at that little critter there. It, you'd be surprised what you'll find in old rain gutter water. Come on. Come on, buddy. You're on YouTube. Quit, quit leaving the frame here. 